today I'm going to tell you a story. This story I'm going to tell you is a horror. This is a horror story, and it happened to me. A real horror story time. Well, I got a good one for you. Okay, let's start with this. I've been wearing this necklace every day, and on the necklace there is my mail key for my mailbox. There is my house key. I made a uh, ice cream cone key out of it. And here is a little pill, a little silver and pink pill. And inside it has some pills. So I put it on this ball chain, which I love. And I, I keep it on, keep it inside, but I, I did make a cute key so I can wear it on the outside. So I'm gonna tell you why I'm wearing this key. About two or three weeks ago, I was home. I was having a bite to eat. I was watching some TV shows. Um, I was relaxing in my living room. There you go. <laughs> Just enjoying myself, enjoying my new place and my lighting and so it's just winding down for the day. Uh, when my shows were over, I shut the TV. I was starting to shut the lights and I went out on the balcony. I shut the door behind me and I got locked out. I got locked out. Ah. <laughs> really, really, really locked out. Without a phone, without water, without food, without a bathroom, without, I just say, thank God I wasn't in the middle of cooking something. Now, how was I going to get back in? Now, how was I gonna get back in the house? I don't live with anybody. I don't have my phone phone with me. Um, I just moved here. I really don't know many people. Um, I, I, I was like, ah. <laughs> I was really, really scared. So I started yelling, hello, hello. I figured, let's see, if somebody came by, uh, I don't know what I was figuring because what were they going to do? They were going to what? Call the fire department and haul me off the balcony? And then what? I couldn't get into my apartment. I didn't have my keys. I can't get into my car because I don't have my keys. This was the main thing. I don't know anyone's phone number by heart. No one's. No one's phone number. My mom's, my, my kids, my sister, my brother, nobody. So, <laughs> oh God, I'm so scared. So I was yelling, hello, hello, hello. And really that's not the word you should use because people think maybe you're on the phone and you're talking to people so they don't come out to help. You really need to yell help. But I didn't want to make a fool of myself. So I was just saying hello and I figured, oh, if I saw somebody, I really don't know what I was gonna do. And then I said, I have a phone number in the rear window of my car on a for sale sign, I have my son's phone number. So if I could get someone's attention, I could have them call my son up. And my son has a key. So, all right, that was the only number I could get to. So nobody came by and I was like in a panic for all it could have been was I was trapped in an elevator. It was the same feeling. I mean, here I am locked out there's a glass wall i can't do anything it's pitch black outside i don't know what to do so i knocked on i put my hand around and i banged on my neighbor's balcony and look who 
we thank God she was home and they're so sweet my neighbors and she she came out and I said and I was in tears I go oh, I'm locked out I'm locked out I don't know what to do I don't have my phone I can't call anybody so she said let me give you my phone I go oh, great but I don't know anyone's number uh, but I do have a phone number in the back window of my car she ran down to the carport and she wrote down the number she came back up and she, she dialed the number for me and gave me her phone so I kept calling my son and of course it was a number he didn't recognize so. and he was with his kids so you know sometimes we do take a break from our phone so he wasn't answering so I said hmm let's see I'm gonna text him so I was waiting for an answer and then I'm thinking I, I didn't know anyone's phone number how do you reach anyone oh my god it was so horrible oh I forgot to tell you my neighbor said to me who's your friend up there and I go who and I looked and it was a raccoon it must have been three feet tall on my branch on the tree that is right against my balcony so I was in a panic she asked me if I wanted a glass of water so I said thank you and also can you give me a knife I needed a knife I needed some protection I had nothing out there except a broomstick I sat there with my knife in my hand waiting not that I could have done anything I mean I, I don't know if I could have actually stabbed him I, 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 ugh. <laughs> I don't know I they would probably just kept pushing him away but he could have really hurt me and he was just eyeballing just looking at me he didn't stop looking at me I was dying so finally my son answered the text and I tried to be very calm I said listen I'm okay I just need you to get the key yes. from come into my apartment and let me out of this balcony that I'm trapped and there is a raccoon three feet away from me so like a lightning flash he came I was so happy to see him oh I hugged him kissed him I was so happy to see him but I tell you I had post-traumatic stress from this I was like whoo stressed out for two days after of what could have happened with the raccoon with just being trapped out there uh, having to stay out there all night my grandson said to me grandma why don't you wear a key around your neck I say good idea so I went and I had this key made to wear it around my neck it had to be cute so I had a little ice cream cone key now where I live you can choose to take an elevator or steps to my floor so I also have a pill or two in here if I started having a panic attack at any time of any disaster. <laughs> so, so stupid, I know. But it really shook the life out of me. It shook the life out of me. In one second, I was trapped outside with nobody and no numbers and no phone. I was just, it was, it was so scary. Now, the reason it happened was because I keep a piece of wood to be a double lock for my sliding doors and when I opened up the door I just lifted the wood up so when I was outside I shut the door and the wood came down and it double locked so when I was opening the door it wouldn't open then I open the other side and the other door opens up this much because it has a piece of wood also. And I try to put my head through it. Not, well, I don't know why I was putting my head through it. I was trying to maybe see if I could stick my whole body through, but it was just this wide and I couldn't do it. I was so thankful, but I was so shook up for two days. I was just shook up. I was trapped. I was just trapped. It could have been an elevator. It was as scary as if it was an elevator or a anything. Anything. It was horrible. So that's my story. That's my horror story. And I hope you enjoyed listening to it. I hope it never happens again. Uh, it really scared the life out of me. How about I see you in my next video. Stay beautiful. 
and think of one thing that makes you happy. Could be your nail polish, could be your new foundation, could be your new lipstick, anything. And think about that and make yourself happy. Have a great day. This is my new cup from the 99 cent store. Is that so cute? Oh my gosh. I just, just, this just makes me crazy. It's so cute.